Hi everyone, welcome to this short indie horror that I found that is called Whatever Happened to Ruth MacArthur? Um, my cat BB is here too. I wanted to put the cam on so you guys could see him for a little bit. He's so cute. He's just hiding right now. <laughs> um, but what struck me about this indie horror is that the art style looks really, really good on the web page. So I wanted to show you that uh, here. So this is the actual web page that the, the game is uh, from on Itch.io. And I just love the background, the artwork, the screenshots look great. Um, it should be just like a little short indie horror, so I'm really excited to try it out. Um, it says, what happened, whatever happened to Ruth, Ruth, Jesus, English. Whatever happened to Ruth MacArthur is an interactive narrative experience where you are in search of a missing woman who left leaving only a trail of audio tapes behind her. So we have to find the tapes and uh, reveal her story that way. Richly detailed, handcrafted environment and experience that suspenseful, experience the suspenseful narrative. Close your eyes, open your mind. I love this artwork. It's really, really cool. Um, you can play for free. You can name your own price. Um, so I usually play pay a couple bucks afterwards if it's good. Um, so if it's good, I'll go back and probably give like five dollars. That's usually what I do. Um, but yeah, let's uh, check it out. Okay, I got the game to run fine. Seems like it can only take uh, thirty FPS. And if it if I try sixty, then OBS is like, no, we can't do that. So here we are. <laughs> um, I hope it runs okay. Uh, now it seems to be fine at least. No overloading message pops up. So I love the colors of the hotel. I mean, I wouldn't like it for my house, but I love the style that this game is going with. A little double G there, double G icon. <laughs> so I picked up a tape. Oh, I love the art style. Can you please make like a full game of this? Thanks. I haven't even played anything, but... So it, I was like a film reel looking like this. Hmm. Oh. Tape 1, September 1st, 1973. Okay, let's give it a listen. I was sent a strange gift from a fan of the show, I presume. My interest in the unloved esoteric text have not escaped this mysterious... Unloved effect. esoteric text. It's a shriveled little grimoire bound in sickly smelling black leather. Hmm. It's written in a completely idiosyncratic Cyrillic. The book seems to act as a series of instructions and invocations to go somewhere. Illustrations feature some kind of a spirit with the head of a horse. It looks like a couple of people are trying to translate it. It'd be simple enough to pick up where they left off. Okay. So she found she got a weird book from someone and then she wanted to start translating it. Uh, dearest Mary, I wish I had more time, but I'm afraid I've set something in motion that will tear me from you. I'm sorry I was so cruel. I wish I could take all that pain from you and bring it with me into the dark. There is so much I wish to tell you, but maybe you wouldn't understand. Despite all that has happened, all that I've done, I love you, Ruth. Okay. Mm. Let's see. So now we should find another tape. Oh, music. Can't open the doors. Hope the music isn't copyrighted. Butterflies. Another tape. I'm just gonna turn this off just in case it's copyrighted. Let's listen to another tape. Tape 2, September 8th, 1973. Further studies of the Grimmar have revealed a curious magnetism. Magnetism? As I translate this obscure language, the words just sort of slip off the page and find their way into my head. Oh. I found myself repeating certain phrases on my breast, like some a melody without tune. If I want to piece together so far, this book claims to contain a ritual that can send you into the red womb. The red, oh, the red womb. <laughs> I haven't translated enough to that Turns out it's just someone trying to say red Perhaps room with a speech impediment. <laughs> There's something ancient about this book. Not that I'm trying to joke about speech impediments, of course. Long been 
But it's an old joke where um, an old game that I played, there was a bad guy who said like, in this very room. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. So I found a second tape that I didn't see there before. I wonder if I listen to one, another one magically appears somewhere. Or we can maybe only pick them up in order. So maybe those are tapes that we can, on the desk, that we can pick up eventually. Uh, but maybe we have to wait until it's time to pick it up. God, I'm extremely par paranoid about my recording now. Hmm. Ah, the sleep paralysis painting. That is very cool. Can I crouch? No. Can I run? No. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Means that I don't have to run away from monsters or something. Oh, here it is. Found it. Tape three, September tenth, nineteen seventy. Almost my birthday. This book is silent to invade my dreams. Half awake in bed. I have this feeling of heaviness. I feel the wind on my face. Pulsing kind of freeze oh, of Jesus, love. Baby. Honey. Oh. Something else. Open my eyes and I'm still in the apartment. It's mostly empty. The walls are red. There's an awful wind bashing on the windows. It's unbearable droning. The television is on. I can hear something through the static. It's an awful sound, like a, a chorus of horses in the line of a glue factory. The book is open. The words shift and dance on the page like candle flames. I can't read the words, but in some strange way, I know what they mean. I've invited something in. Oh, I fucking knew it when she said that. I was like, oh, the TV is going to go on. <clears throat> um, what was I? Oh, BB, um, BB, like, got startled by something. It was probably the front door opening and closing. But he like jolted in my lap and that really scared me. That's what scared me just now. <laughs> oh, <gasps> the wet womb. <laughs> Tape. Can I read this? Oh, this is the book. Oh, that's awesome. The page, the words are dancing on the page. Oh, yes. Okay, it's the same. God, it's loud. It's the same layout of the other uh, hotel room slash apartment. But we can't do anything, so... Let's go back, listen to the tape, and then see what else changes. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's past my birthday now. There's a steady wind that has set upon my home. I'm lamenting, cold, carrying some strange fever with it. But I can't let it distract me from the task at hand. Be the one to bring this book out of the obscurity. To know it. To understand it. I didn't sleep last night. I want to go back to that red place. The book says that you mustn't linger in there. Oh. I understand now. Oh. oh, oh. To linger is to be broken down. What? Digested and reformed. And expelled into some unknowable place. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back in, because I think I'm gonna get another tape. Oh! Oh! Shit, got the tape. Are they dancing? What the fuck? Wow, my desktop audio is freaking out. It was way too loud. One sec. I need to turn that down, just for the sake of the recording. 
Okay, there we go. So the audio doesn't break up too much. Jesus, that was fucking loud. Oh, the... Take five. The OBS was entirely in the red. <laughs> Cannot compute two loud noises! I haven't left my apartment in some time. Something tells me that I must stay here. Being away from the book. It makes me feel sick. Hollow. When I'm away from the book, I feel minus something. Like a vase in want of flowers. I'm beginning to get these visions. Of a far off place. A place where great pines pierce the sky like black spires. A thick blanket of slate clouds weighs on the valleys like the lid of a well. A sharp coal penetrates the skin where the black mud has clung. There's a marble wall in face of a cliff. A mighty cave that burrows unknowably deep into the mountain. That completely sucked me in. I didn't even realize I was recording anymore. I was just listening to her. Holy shit. Holy shit. These tapes are really good. Oh. No chairs this time. The gate, the, the bowels, tower, the bridge, the sky, the, the tower, tower, the tower, the wall, the skin, the gate, the bowels, the bridge, the sky. Okay, I'm creeped out now. I'm gonna go. Jesus, that was loud. <laughs> Ugh. Ah, this is awesome. Tape six. September 14th, 1973. I couldn't resist the pull of sleep. In a moment of weakness, I shut my eyes and found myself in the red place. Mm. This realm throbs and pulses. It does. There's a kind of static in the air, the smell of blood and honey, stronger than before. There's a buzzing, voices on the radio. The bees, not the bees! In a sequence of words I can hear. I can't remember. Against all logic, I feel as though I've begun some process. I don't have the knowledge to stop. The phone rings. I pick it up. The phone? I can't remember who spoke. I began to weep. I began to cry out. Oh no, the phone's gonna ring, isn't it? I couldn't control. David? Barry? Whoever finds these tapes. The love of God, burn that book. Where's the book? I'll burn it. No phone ring? Maybe that's the end of the game. Maybe when the phone rings, we're fucked. Oh, the phone! You will know me? I will grow in you? I will wear skin like hide. I will become you. I will become you. <gasps> you have one message. <laughs> the fuck? Tape 7, September 15th, 1973. I didn't dream of the red room tonight. Hmm. I dreamt I was lying on the floor of a stable. Stable. My mouth tasted oh, of blood and honey. My hand twitched. I could hardly breathe. I could 
hear a little girl sobbing. My neck was long, stretched out. Horse? My face extended. You're a giraffe! I'm a giraffe! <laughs> my lungs were caving in. My eyes milky. Oh. A man stood over me. My countenance of pity and concern. A knowing look. Of knowing what it must be done. Wait. Of unborn regret. What if I'm gonna now go to that stable and I see the horse on the ground? And I'm the man she's dreaming of that's gonna shoot her. I've been here before. Oh my god. Are we gonna go go in? Is it gonna be the stable? Oh no. Huh, okay. Ruth, my love. Though my heart can't bear to write this letter, I must do what's right for the both of us. We cannot go on like this. You have become a stranger to me. I tried to reach out, and despite all that we have been through, you refused me. Maybe one day I, one day I can forgive you, and maybe you think me cruel. Just know I have always loved you. With sorrow, Mary. Okay, Mary and Ruth? For some reason... Yeah, no, wait, it was in the 70s. Okay. That's cool. Lesbian relationship in the 70s. I like it when games surprise me like that. Eight, eight. September 16th, 1973. All the instruments of the modern age are chords in his metal throat. All the glowing faces the television screen of doors. Oh. The years in the cafe. The glorious rain. That's awesome. So he spreads through TV. Light. His kingdom is as thin as his feet. Yet infinite in its bound. That's cool. His voice is in the fellow crown. And our words mingle there like ink in water. Listen carefully, and you can hear them swimming in the static. No, oh, that's so cool. The writing in this is phenomenal. Jesus. Listen carefully, you can hear them swimming in the static. It's fucking aw- Oh, yes! Tape 9, September 7th. Oh no, I'm listening it in here! are in a dream. It's most pertinent to know who the dreamer is. The walls are red, but I'm not sleeping now. <gasps> the white mare runs at night, carried by the northern wind. Soon I'll leave my amniotic home. The grimoire is complete. All is quiet now. Green door has been unlocked. <gasps> Is the tape still going? Is the door open? Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect it to open for me. Oh shit! What is it? Wait, this looks really- Oh, yes! Oh my god! That's fucking awesome. Holy shit, that looks cool. Are, do you think we're gonna find Ruth? Are we a lady? I can tell. 
I don't know if we're Mary. This game is loud. Just about to look back. No, we won't know. Whatever happened to Ruth MacArthur? Fuck, that was good. That was so much better than I even expected. Jeez. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, God. Uh, do, should we play credits? There you go. Just so people know who made it. Changeling Interactive is the is the group that made it. I hope the music, uh, it's 1967 and 1976 music, so hopefully it's not copyright claimed, because it did add to the atmosphere. I thought that was fucking amazing. If I can get a game with these kind of vibes, that's like three to five hours long, I would be f so into it. Well, three hours. Three hours is like my ideal length of a game nowadays. Um, purely influenced by my stream length, of course. But... God, I thought this was amazing. Music was good, the art style was spot on, the voice acting was great, the writing for the script, the script was just pure amazing. Like, each tape drew me in so much. And I love the whole thing of, like, finding a mystery book and then the book kind of, like, driving you insane, or the book, like... It's, it's very Lovecraftian, of course, like a magic book giving you, like, the knowledge to go beyond or go to a different dimension, but then there being dangers involved with that knowledge. I really liked this. I'm 100% into this. I will go back and pay them uh, five bucks for the game that I was able to play for free now. It was definitely worth it. I hope you guys liked it too. Um, this is like right up my alley. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this ride for what it was. And um, I'll see what else uh, I can find for you indie horror-wise. And hopefully I'll see you there. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Bye!